Good morning, Liam. There's got to be someone named Liam watching. Good morning to them. <laughs> and everyone else. Don't worry. <laughs> Guys, I've done it again. I've woken up early for some reason. It's not that early. It's actually really 6.40. It's not that crazy at all. I'm just sleepy. <laughs> My alarm's going off. I have an alarm going off. Tell me this isn't the most treacherous alarm you've ever heard. Oh no. Oh no, I have to take 20 steps. Oh my gosh. I paid $5 for this app because I have so much trouble waking up. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> uh, first things first, I am going for a run. Then I am getting coffee. And I'm fulfilling one of my childhood dreams of dressing up as a cowboy and having a photo shoot of myself. I'm gonna make some coffee. That's cool. That was a cool shot. Beverage lineup for the morning run. Protein shake, cute water bottle, metal coffee mug. <laughs> I feel like these beverage holders either say that I'm a sorority girl or I spend my weekends at Bass Pro Shops. <laughs> Which is it? I'm gonna go run. Hey guys. <laughs> I didn't jump cut to the destination today. I'm actually car vlogging right now. I'm, I'm in the car, I'm vlogging. I am live commentary, essentially, of my, of my, you know, uh, dang it, I'm messing up, I'm messing up. Oh, that's so good. Trying to run four miles at like six minute per mile pace, which is really fast, and you might be wondering, Ryan, what are you training for? I have no idea. I actually just love running so much. I just, ever since I left college, I've kind of, I did the whole thing where I'm gonna put on some muscle. And I tried doing that. And I really enjoyed that. I, I tried CrossFit for a bit. Honestly, running is the most fun that I have consistently. It doesn't feel like working out, so. See, car vlogging ain't so bad. <laughs> if you wanted to stop watching, you could have just told me. I made it, let's run. First mile was 5.57, which is pretty awesome. We're actually ahead of pace, so. <sighs> I'm vlogging. <laughs> this is Woo! a vlog. Uh, the pain. Mile two fell off a little bit, about six minutes and 11 seconds. Hey, you know what? We can still hit this goal of six flat average. We got it. Mile three was 6.55. I haven't done a six minute average for four miles since high school. <laughs> Zooey, mama. <sighs> Mile four, I'm just calling the big fizzle. I just fizzled out. It was just extremely painful. And now I'm here, about to go on a coffee date with my wife. She's gonna meet me here, and I'm very excited. Hopefully she doesn't stand me up, huh? <laughs> I'm at the right place. My body is sore. I already drank my protein shake. There's still some protein there at the bottom, but I don't want that. It's so chunky. My sorority girl water bottle still flourishing. I'm gonna stop recording and hopefully in the next clip, I am with Haley. <laughs> Good news, guys, she didn't stand me up. Who? You. Oh. It feels like we're really dating because we went on a date. Not that we are. <laughs> <laughs> guys, look how short. <laughs> I'm standing on this. I feel like I can't relate to you up there, though. I don't have any empathy for you. <laughs> I literally look right fast. <laughs> All right, let's, let's proceed with our day. Vegetables, bye bye. Wait, three, two, mm -hmm. one. Yeah. One. Two, three. Wow. What the heck? Well, it's so good. It's like crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. It has been four hours since you last saw me, and I have good news. I have terrific news. As you guys know, the Lawn Update Chronicles have been intense. Over the past few weeks, I've taken my lawn from this to this, and by me, I basically just mean uh, we've gotten some rain, Recently, <laughs> everyone's grass has turned green. Like all of my neighbor's grass is green now. So I can't really take credit for it, but I'm still happy. I'm still like extremely happy about it. I think this guy is right in this tweet because he's saying that the part of my backyard that's not growing might not be because of Spock's doo doo pee pee, but because it's getting too much sun. Because you'll notice in every clip that I'm filming, it looks like, you know, the sun's just beating down on that section in particular. But he told me to like put a cloth over it. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. But I appreciate his, I mean, it looks like he did some research. I mean, he's, he's got underlined, I don't know. Like, is, did he buy a book about chlorophyll? Hey, 
I'm grateful. But what's more fun and honestly more important is today I'm fulfilling a childhood dream of having a photo shoot dressed as a cowboy. This is an extremely exciting moment for me. I bought a cowboy hat on Amazon. It had one day shipping, so I was like, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna buy this. And, uh, I'll show you. Do I look like an intimidating cowboy to you? Do I look like I'm about to hop up on a steed? It just fell off my head. Honestly, I'm just gonna own it. It's kind of funny. Also got some fun sunglasses. Look at that. I look nothing like a cowboy. The photo shoot is still happening. I rented out a photo studio. I've actually taken some of my thumbnails here, so I'm pretty stoked about it. I basically have this idea of painting a backdrop. Well, I'll, I'll explain when I get there, okay? Let's hit it. You guys know Preston. We're doing this photo shoot together. I got a toy horse. I got a little hat. Ooh. <laughs> so I had this idea where we do this DIY photo shoot, paint the backdrop blue to look like the sky, punch bags of sand, put them on the ground. We actually had to get a lot of sand for this and some of it was wet, which was not ideal because it looks just like mud. And then we wanted to add clouds with glue and cotton. It turned out so good. It looks so good. It may be hard for you to stop and believe, but for you. Guys, this actually looks crazy. This is Dee Dee. She's going to be taking the photos. Let's ride. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna get after it. Little cowboy photo shoot. That's it. And this is my moment. This is my moment to shine. I am literally so bad at modeling. I don't know the first thing about how to pose, how to take a good photo, but you know what? I'm having fun. And so is Preston. Literally no clue what I'm doing here. Like actually no idea. But my supporting cast was very encouraging. About to drop the hottest rap country album of all time, man. Ooh, I one thing I've realized about modeling is this, it's not as easy as it looks. I have a deep respect for people that cannot be awkward while taking photos. Whoa, this one's crazy. This one's crazy. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I gotta say, this this is just such a fun event. Like this photo shoot was so fun for me because it's just like a it's like a creative outlet, and it's just so fun to have like an imagination and some sort of vision for something, and then just doing it. And you might be wondering, hey Ryan, what the heck are you wearing? That's right, howdy merch. You guys know how merch goes. I'm not gonna be like this is the craziest thing of all time, but I've had a lot of ideas for merchandise for a long time, and I've just had friends encourage me recently to just try. Because I am passionate about it. It's like a fun way to try to artistically express yourself in a way that isn't in a video. You can do a little, little, you know, I don't know, haul. <laughs> So the design is super simple. It's just all hand-drawn, you know, super goofy. Pretty sure the merch company is mad at me because it's just so not professional, but <laughs> look at that design. I think that's actually so sick. It's like the tallest design I think I've ever seen. I'm wearing a large, hold on. I'm wearing a large, so I'd recommend probably sizing up if you were to get one, because I normally wear larges, but they're typically a little bit bigger than this. Uh, kind of went for an oversized look. You guys know I love short shorts too, so the shorts are 5 inch inseam. I personally love the look. But this is the one I'm super excited about. This is the Yeehaw hoodie. This is a medium. Um, still pretty oversized, kind of like a loose look. But you've got the Howdy on the sleeve, and you've got the Yeehaw on the sleeve. Same design on the back there. Very nice. Not sure if you can tell, but the fabric's just awesome. I'm very stoked with how this has turned out. I spent like several months on literally one little drop. And it's purely because I, I just enjoy the creative aspect of it. Like this isn't groundbreaking. You guys know how merch is. If you like the design and you wanna support the channel, like this is a good way to do it. But I also know it's not for everyone. So I'm doing pre-orders for this first launch because I literally have, I have no idea how many people want to buy merch. So yeah, if you wanna get the Yeehaw hoodie or the shorts or the tee, uh, I'm doing pre-orders in the link in the description. I'm I'm nervous. I'm excited. Like I said, this is just me doing an experiment that I'm passionate about. So thank you guys for giving me an excuse to do a cowboy photo shoot. That was awesome. And if you guys do end up getting one of these bad boys, thank you so much. Super, super kind. And uh, I hope you like it. I think you will. I'm drinking another coffee, by the way. <laughs> it's like 5 p.m. So yeah, have a good week. Have a fun drink. Oh,